क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और गुड क्वेश्चन एंड बेसिकली दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम वर्क एनर्जी एंड पावर सो इन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वी विल मूव फ्रॉम वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम एंड वर्क एनर्जी थ्योरम सोज दैट द वर्क डन इज इक्वल टू चेंज इन कानेटिक एनर्जी चेंज इन कानेटिक एनर्जी मीन्स फर्स्ट इफ आई राइट हाफ एम फाइनल स्पीड एंड इनिशियल स्पीड सो वी नीड इन दिस सिचुएशन देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ स्पीड वन ऑफ देम इज इनिशियल स्पीड एंड अदर इज फाइनल स्पीड बट वॉट विल बी द क्लू बट क्वेश्चन इज फोर्स इज एफ इज इक्वल टू माइनस के वी स्क्वेर बट आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट इनिशियल स्पीड एंड फाइनल स्पीड तो इन दिस स्टेज वॉट यू कैन डू सो लुक एट इफ आई चेंज द फोर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ मास एंड डी वी ओवर डी टी सो दैट विल इक्वल टू माइनस के वी स्क्वायर सो डी वी ओन वी स्क्वायर दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस के टाइम्स ऑफ डी टी डिवाइड बाई मास बिकॉज वी नीड ओनली ए एक्सप्रेशन एन इक्वेशन रिलेटेड टू वेलॉसिटी एंड टाइम सो इफ आई गो फॉर इंटीग्रेशन लाइक दैट एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द लिमिट्स ऑफ द इंटीग्रेशन सो हेयर यू कुड सी इनिशियल स्पीड इज टेन मीन्स एट टाइम टी इक्वल जीरो माई स्पीड इज टेन एंड आफ्टर टेन If I consider my speed is v, so my first point of interest calculation of v. So if I go for the integration, so what we will get? So if I go for this, so now we will get one by ten minus one upon v. That is equal to minus k. m into t my second requirement is v but now question ki taraf jate hain question says the energy is 1 upon 8 mb not square you know the formula of kinetic energy is half mb square but here you could see 1 upon 8 mb not square so can i say my speed is on the basis of that v is equal to 5 meter per second because kinetic energy is going to half so we can write here so now if i go for the calculation of v so 1 by 10 minus 1 upon 5 and k but according to the problem mass is given 10 to the power minus 2 and time is 10 so on solving you will get the value of k that is 10 to the power minus 4 kg per meter so we can say that my option is third third option will be correct okay so now we are going to move from question number 4 this is another question from work energy power so now here you could see force is given f is equal to 60 so once again we are going to solve this question by using work energy theorem that is half m final speed and initial speed so we need only two things one of them initial speed and one of them final speed so what you can do so first i am going to write the given equation f is equal to 6 times of t you can write m tv over dt that is 6 times of t so tv is equal to 6 t dt i am not going to write the value of mass because mass is 1 kg so there is no need of the value of mass if i go for integration at time t equal to 0 and what will be the value of speed so after integration you will write v is equal to 6 t square by 2 right 6 t square by 2 so that is equal to 
3t square. Am I right? Now, this is the expression of velocity or speed. So, if I want to calculate my initial speed, then if I take time t equal to 0, that will give you initial speed. If I put according to the problem at time t equal 1 second, then you will get v is equal to 3 meter per second. So, now question will become very easy. So, if I go once again from work energy theorem, mass is 1 and final speed is 3, initial speed is 0. So, you will get 1 by 2 into 9 that will give you 4.52. So, my option is 1. Now, we are going to move question number 5. Basically, this question is taken from system of particles and rotational motion. So, now we are going to solve the question. Question says, the moment of inertia of the cylinder, like this, if I consider this is a cylinder, length of cylinder is L and radius is R, right? But question says, the moment of inertia about its perpendicular bisector means like this. But we know that according to the condition of the given question, we can write the value of I, you all know, I is equal to m r square by 4 plus 1 upon 12 mass of the cylinder and L square, right? But I want to calculate or question demands or question says find the ratio L by R such that the moment of inertia is minimum. This is the key point of the question. So, what we will do? In this type of situation, if I think or if I go volume, volume of the cylinder is pi R square L, right? So, if I calculate the value of R square, that will give you V upon pi L, right? What will happen? If I put the value of R, so expression will becomes M by 4, R square is V upon pi L plus 1 by 12 ML square. Because question says moment of inertia is minimum, so T i with respect to the length, but question says moment of inertia is minimum. So, if I use the condition of maxima and minima, we can take D i over D l is equal to 0. Am I right? But if I go for the differentiation of the given expression, so what will comes out? Minus m v upon 4 pi l square. You know this is the basic of the differentiation plus 2 times of m l divided by 12, right? So, now m v upon 4 pi l square that is equal to 2 times of mass m and 12. By this on solving we will get the value of l cube that will give you 3v by 2 pi. Once again, we can use the formula of volume of the cylinder, v is equal to pi r square l. So, if I want to calculate the value of l, l is equal to v upon pi r square, right? Can I write l square into l? that is equal to 3 times of v upon 2 pi. So, if I put the value of L from this relation here. So, L square into v upon pi r square that is 3 v upon 2 pi. So, v, v is cancel out. On solving, you will get L by R is equal to root of 3 by 2. So, now we will move the question number 
Six.